see what I'm doing. There we are. So this morning, I've just been up to the local post depot. Picked up a parcel that they couldn't fit through the letterbox, as you might have. I was probably here when they came, but they keep delivering stuff to the pub instead of coming down here to see me. They just take it back. So this is some dairy hose. Heavy duty. I mean, heavy freaking duty. I'll show you when I just get it unwrapped. So instead of using the silicon hose for pumping the beer into fermenters, I want to use something that's probably a little bit more resistant to being dragged along the floor. The trouble with this silicon hoses is if they get a nick on the uh, outside, they have a tendency to split. Oh, this is nice and supple as well, even at this temperature. Right, it's four degrees in here today. Look how supple that is. That is beautiful. So you can see inside, it's got a hygienic liner, which is food safe. And then it's surrounded by a braided material. And then on the outside, you've got EDPM rubber. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm really pleased with this. So it's good to 100 degrees C and 150 PSI. So that, I think, will be suitable for us to use for a transfer hose because once we get the new fermenters up and running, then obviously we're going to have quite a distance to the furthest one from the boil kettle. Oh, I've made a mess of it already. <laughs> so uh, it helps to have a hose, there's 10 metres of it here. And 10 meters of this cost over 50 quid to give you an idea. So yeah, it helps to have a hose that is resilient and tough enough to take being dragged along the floor. So one of the first things I'm gonna do with that, you can see I've got white all over my hands, is uh, Give it a clean, get some caustic running through it, give the outside a good clean down, make sure that any deposits like what I've got, I think it's probably a release agent from the mould, get rid of any of that before it goes into circulation. And then today's job will include getting into the beer garden and starting to rectify all the issues with the flower border which is already there, we can't really get rid of that. Unfortunately, that's something that's going to stay, so we just need to rectify it and get it all prepped up. And uh, then also remove the awkward step that's in the middle of no man's land. So I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of warm clothing on for this, because it's freezing. So while I wait for Sam to arrive, I've got the mash tun pump here. It didn't seem to be performing quite as well yesterday for some reason. Not sure why, it just seemed to be a bit slow. So I'm going to take it apart, inspect it, and then to make it easier for me to remove it away from the mash tun without having to disconnect the whole shebang of cable, I'm going to install one of these Swift four pin pluggable connectors. Once you seal them on the outside with some silicon, they're relatively waterproof. Uh, these are what I've used to join the fermenters together. I like them, they're convenient, and they're good enough to carry 20 amps at 240 volts, which is a considerable amount of juice. And they also have four terminals as well in case you have a signal wire that you need to send back. Very good. So I'm just gonna pop this apart, uh, add, add that in line, and then we'll uh, service the pump.
was easy and simple, exactly what I wanted to see. So we've got the connectors on and I took the pump apart and of course spotless inside. Didn't even need rinsing, perfect. So uh, I'll just let the silicon cure on that for the rest of the day and that's ready to go back into position. So it's just gone 10 o'clock, I'm going to have to kick Sam's ass. Ah, he's here. He's here, look. I was just saying I'm going to have to kick your ass for being late. But he's arrived. Right then. Right job on today, duck. Well, it's good weather, isn't it? <laughs> so today's plan. Uh, because all this timber's falling down and collapsing, what we're going to do is try and take up. See, that ends fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's alright. It's just here, so it's going to have to come off. I bet you they've screwed. Ah, oh, they've screwed in that way, look. So I bet that's that way and that one's that way. So what we're going to do, take off section by section, throw the soil back, then refit the timbers, and uh, work our way all the way down. And then put holes in them and drop steel, drop steel in the holes to kind of keep it all, keep it all in line. That means I need a big drill bit. Yeah. That steel's an inch, so I need to drill a hole that's an inch diameter. Right, let's get to it. So that's the first section off and you can see exactly what they've done. They've used the bed as a skip during refurbishments or whatever. And they've just dumped all the rubbish in there and then put soil over the top. Well, you know, I can't blame them, I suppose. You don't want to pay to get rid of your rubbish, just bury it. A lot of people seem to do. Side, mate, and I'll, uh, I'll get it up. Back. This worst. So it's half past one now, I'm gonna, because I'm with Sam, I'm going to stop for a lunch break. But we've managed to get two rows of the retaining wall done, just the two, mind. But uh, the original plan didn't work out, so we were going to drop rebar straight through all of them. But it turns out that that's too far to go with a straight line on the drill bit, the drill was veering off. So what we've done instead... We've just drilled holes and then opposing holes on the other side of each timber and we've put them on separately. One and then the next side drilled some more holes and worked our way up to the top like that. But you can see it looks relatively straight now. It, it actually does look quite straight. So we're just going to chuck all these tools into the into the cellar and then we're going to walk into town and get some scrap. Okay. But uh, you can see how bad it was, look. See how it's... Uh, it's just like stepping out on the side down here it's coming away that section not too bad not too bad at all but it all needs some work so that's what we're starting
for the day so uh, we managed to get quite a bit of it done but not all of it we're still gonna have to approach a little bit tomorrow uh, back breaking work boring work not really good to put on a video I don't think it's not like riveting stuff is it to watch look at the digging a bloody border up amazing Crazy. <laughs> so uh, well I'll show you a little bit on the vlog for the end credits but other than that we'll further tomorrow <laughs>